the Livernois Strip, um, around Seven Mile Livernois area where I grew up. This is where I actually was born and raised. My creative growth happened over in Commonwealth, but where I'm actually from and all of my childhood experiences all happen in this area. Uh, and this place is important to me for, for not only that, but also because of the future of the city and what it represents. I mean, this place here is one of the few places um, in the city that represents like a stable uh, commercial strip. They call they used to call this the Avenue of Fashion back in the day, like back in like the 60s or 70s. Um, because this is like the only place that you'll find like like actual retail, one of the only places in the whole city. Uh, my neighborhood is right over there, so I spent a lot of time uh, just exploring food, good food. There's food all over the place here. Um, Sherwood, Forest, Coney Island, that's Coney Island in the whole city. My first studio was in the basement of my mom's house, so, you know, all of the kick was made here. All of the voyage home was made here. Everything was, I mean, so this is where it all got started. I mean, uh, he's probably, he's probably, he's but so that's so that's what I'm saying. This is this is family. This is where I grew up. This is where all my people are. So. The fall from grace that Detroit has experienced in the past 50 or 60 years is, is a spectacle. It's been going on for a lot longer than we think. You know, we people say the race riots in '67 is what is what started it, but no, I mean. There was a Times article that was written in 1961 that describes how far Detroit had started to fall in terms of like finance um, and being a one industry town and how that was starting to affect the community. Uh, this, was, this was written in 1961, so it's like that shit is old news. And so when you see that the city's on, a, on the verge of bankrupt and you've got like years and years of being in the top one or two worst cities in the world as far as crime you see you start to develop a story or a, a, a reputation as being something interesting something exotic for people in other parts of the of the country to kind of be in be in awe of like wow you know what i mean these those fools in detroit are really Let's, let's turn on the TV and see what's, what else has gone wrong in Detroit. I mean, people, it's like entertainment. But that's not the, that's not the legacy that I'm trying to, that I'm trying to promote here. Um, that's not the Detroit that I uh, believe in. That's not the one that I grew up in. Uh, I mean, I, I mean I'm, but then at the same time, I'm from, I'm from Detroit, the whole Detroit. So it's not like I don't know about it, and it's not like I didn't see it coming up. And it's not like it didn't directly affect me. What does the city need? What does the community need? The obvious answer is that there needs to be industry. There needs to be job, a job for us back in the city. That's the that's probably uh, will solve or start to solve or start to lend solutions to most of these problems. Um, the next thing that we will probably need is is investment, and I don't just mean money. I mean like talent base and people who are who believe in the city the same way that I do or or some of my peers or more so even uh, we, there, there's so many of, of the young professionals black and white who, who were born here and they move out of the city and then it's like well shit we could use your help I mean I've had job opportunities in New York and DC and Chicago um, but I, I wanted to stay here and, and, and fight it out and see what I could do as far as organizing the community to, to, to build power um, so that they can embrace their own ability to solve problems in the community and also just because the art that I love, the music, it came from here. And I wanna, I wanna make sure that I give back to the community that gave me this gift of music. That's really it.